Hello, welcome back everybody, Abdullah Ashraf here, back again with another video and it's about to go down. So, in this video we are going to be talking about strings formatting and some uh, very powerful string functions that you can be using and also some links uh, for your referrals. So, let's get started. At first, I have my terminal open because I will be just using Python shell for this because I'll be trying multiple and different um, functions in, in Python so I'll do Python and that is supposed to open up uh, so I'll do Python <coughs> and I get a Python um, terminal directly a Python shell then I just want to say that I have a text and it's equal and this text says hello world just like that because if I call my text right here I should get back hello world well um, the first thing I want to do is um, start with uh, let's say okay I will do text dot um, ends ends with And then uh, inside of here, you want to put any um, any characters. So if let's say hello world ends with a D, right? So if we click enter that, we get true. But then if we actually change this to um, anything else, it's going to give us a false. So if you, if you have something that you want to check, we can even say the entire uh, world world here. And then it's going to give us true but then you can use this in an if statement later on uh, if you want to check for a specific um, pattern in your text or in any uh, character uh, bringing up ends with you definitely already guessed it you we have starts with function as well and in this one we can always like you know start with an edge like that should be small edge in here I have one thing and I just click enter I get true but then if I click if I change even this to edge like that I will get a false so it's another thing that you can you you can be using so that um, later on in the future um, you will be able to uh, I want to clear this so now I uh, will do Python again so another thing, uh, another function that we can have is called. Uh, let me have my text equal to. Now I can I can change the the case uh, the case uh, sensitivity the case of this. So if I want to make it uppercase. If I wanted to make it as a title, or if I want to call like the capitalize, and so let's go through uh, all of these functions. So I will start by text dot upper, and then I do something like this, and this is going to change everything to an upper case. And I can also say text dot title. And this is going to change it from from this hello world just like this into hello world as a title so like you have in each each word uh, have a capital uh, first uh, letter so that's in in the title and one more thing is that another function called uh, it's called capitalize capitalize just like this and capitalize will only capitalize the first uh, letter and the first word word so that's why I made I made this all in lowercase so that you can call this upon it but then another thing that I can have is alright so if I do this then I say what my so if I write my name 
right here and then I do dot lower this is another function it's going to change everything in here into lower case and that's another thing that you could be um, doing with it and one more fun that then comes the functions that uh, give you the um, what do you call that uh, the index of a specific uh, character inside your, in your inside your string so if I go back to text then I do dot index and I want to find in which index I have my world my the W in word so in world so if I click on this I get six but then if, if you actually count here um, where is our word okay this one zero one two three four five six yeah uh, that's uh, one way you can go about it and there is another way and uh, that is if if you have if I have multiple um, characters like L what have I just done okay if I have multiple characters like L and you can see here hello has a double L and I have another L here but then um, if I want this last L in world I can do an R index something another function called R index and this is going to be calling the last uh, index of that so the last R in this uh, the last L in this word in this text is at the uh, at the index 9 which is this one uh, these are for those two one more we can go about is the the count count function so if I do text dot dot count and inside of count I need to give it a specific character for it to count it so if I do L and then it's going to give me how many L's do I have in my text so I have three L's so as you can see hello world hello has two world has one and <clears throat> one more thing I can call upon it and uh, this is going back to the title like something similar to this title one but this one is checking if if the text is actually a title so if I come back here, if I do text dot is title like that, and this is supposed to give me a boolean, and it's actually giving me false, and that is because it's not a title because hello world is all in lowercase, and a uh, title should be something like this, something like this here. So if I change it, if I say dot is title uh, is probably going to give me a true and this is because this is indeed this could be a title because uh, because of the way the strings are shaped another thing I can do let me exit this so I can um, clear everything and one more I will do Python again and I can say text is equal to the world now what I want to be able to do is change a specific word inside of my uh, text and that is using the uh, replace function so if I do text dot replace and this function takes two arguments the first argument is the the, the characters that you want to change and the second argument is the character that you want to change to so if I want to change hello I will type it first and this should be in a string but then after that then I will say hey like if I wanted to change it to hey and this also should be in quotes something like that so, and you can see the hey world yeah exactly like that and another thing we can go about it and call something called a split split function 
and the split function is just uh, is going to give to return to you uh, a list of uh, uh, of uh, of all the items in here. So if if I want to split hello and world into two different uh, uh, elements in one list, so I would call the the split function upon it. So I will do text dot split, and you, as you can see. The hello the split function by default takes the space, so it, it splits everything uh, at the space. So at this space here, it did split uh, everything. So hello and world are uh, two different uh, words, but I can give it also an argument. So if I do text dot split, I could come up here. And, and I could give it anything. So if let's say I want to split at the L, so whenever it finds an L, it's going to split. So as you can see, it found one, it found an L here, so it made a split. So it split to H and E. It found another L, and then it splits that one as well. But then it's between two L, so there's nothing in between. And then it founds the, I mean. Uh, this L here, the other one, so then it splits that and then it gives you the O and then it gives you the O, O and then space O R which is from here. Um, where where is it? Yeah, from this O. Uh, I can highlight for when okay. Yeah, it gives you this one because it's after this L and between this other L and then. At the end, it gives you the D. So that's uh, the way you can go about it. And there are many, many other functions that you can go to. Uh, those are just like very famous. I use them uh, most of the time when I'm building uh, maybe projects and stuff like that. But here is a list of all of these uh, functions. And I believe if you if you click on this, you can go and check check them out. I will put the link to this uh, in the description so you can go and check them out uh, some sometime in the future if you, if you want to do some uh, string formatting and uh, you want to work uh, in a much powerful way with uh, strings. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this one was a helpful tutorial for you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, peace is all for me.